a kid growing up with a loyal Doberman at their side. It's just an amazing thing to see, that bond between kid and their dog. And with the right guidance from you, it can make everything they do together just a ton of fun. But just like with fun days you take out with a family, if you let things go completely unsupervised between your kid and your dog, it can get really frustrating and just chaotic for everyone involved. And it can even lead to long-term behavioral issues in your dog. So that's why today we're talking about the all so important do's and don'ts of raising a doorman in a house with kids. Today on Doorman Planet. So guys, today we're gonna to talk mostly about introducing a young puppy into a house with young kids in it and the interactions there. But I think a lot of this can apply to introducing an adult Doberman into that same house as well. But just keep in mind, obviously an adult can be more dangerous, right? They're stronger, more powerful. Um, if they're, it's a dog you adopted, then you don't necessarily know their history, their triggers or that kind of thing. So definitely worry about keeping everybody safe first and foremost, and then worry about their interactions together. So up first is the first do of raising kids with a Doberman, and that is to definitely do introduce them early. This is just so important, and it really worked wonders with my kids, and well, both of my Dobermans, Arlo and Cooper, is to introduce them hopefully when they're both young, because when they're young, their curiosity of each other outrides, overrides any fears they might have, and really starts things off on the right foot. Dobermans, their critical socialization window is between about four weeks of age to as late as 16 weeks of age, and during that time, they just are so curious and enthralled by everything, it's very easy also at that young age for them to develop a bond with a new person or animal. So use that to your advantage and using that window of time, start developing that bond between your kid and your dog very early on. So definitely do introduce them both early. And that brings us to the first don't of this video and that's to don't let them play unsupervised, at least not in the beginning. This is incredibly important. It can actually help make sure that they're relationship doesn't start off on a bad foot from the beginning because if the dog overwhelms the kids or the kids overwhelm the dog then all of a sudden it completely changes how they view each other and it can lead to them being withdrawn for example if the puppy gets overwhelmed or cornered by the kids they could start to see the children as scary creatures and want to be withdrawn from them which could really negatively affect their socialization down the road similarly kids could get overwhelmed by a really active puppy, right? And if they get overwhelmed, it gets to be too much, and then all of a sudden you're gonna start getting things like, mom, dad, please uh, keep the dog separate. Don't bring him out during my birthday party. Please don't bring the dog over to grandma and grandpa's today. Please don't, please don't, please don't. And they'll be asking to keep the dog separated during this really critical time. And that can lead to a just socially separated dog and, and which eventually will become a withdrawn dog and ill-behaved dog. All that being said, this leads to our next one, which is to do encourage calm play between your kids and your Doberman puppy. Um, it's great for them to experience calm play together. It's really good idea to hover a bit to make sure that this happens, especially early on. Um, you gotta make sure it remains calm because if it doesn't, puppy biting or nipping can easily occur when the dog gets too wound up and too crazy or out of control. If that happens, one of your kids could easily get a really sharp you know, pierce on their, from the sharp little puppy teeth could get a good pierce or a good nip on the skin. And there are a lot of bad things that can result from that, including the socially withdrawn issue, which I talked about in the last part. Um, but if they start getting too crazy and too out of control, just distract everyone, reset the whole situation. It makes a world of difference. You can even just encourage your kids to you know, grab a treat and say, hey, you know what? Let's stop what we're doing right now. Let's grab a treat and let's train the puppy a little bit. Here, you can try it. You can uh, ask him to sit, ask him to stay, shake, whatever. Here's Just reset the whole scene, the whole situation, calm it all down and make it feel more controlled. That way, you're really encouraging the calm play and it's only gonna lead to a better bond between everybody. And that brings us to our next one. Don't allow rough housing, not early on not with a young puppy and kids. Um, this is very important to avoid an injury or avoid overwhelming the dog, pulling on the ears, poking them, pinching them, something like that that kid can do and leading to withdrawn dog issues. Um, it's really important. You don't want things to get overexcited. Remember the whole thing about shifting gears and resetting the situation. Um, if you see things getting rough, you see things starting to build in intensity, 
just stop the whole situation. And if your kids are old enough, you could just talk with them and tell them that it needs to calm down a little bit. If they're not old enough, you're going to have to distract both puppy and kid alike. That brings us to the next point, and that's do slowly acclimate your Doberman to kid noises. Very important. A young puppy can easily get overwhelmed with kids, right? They're unpredictable. They'll scream one second, they'll be laughing the next. Next one's going to be an ear piercing screech that I know here hurts my ears. Um, and a Doberman's hearing is four times more sensitive than us. A really good scream at the wrong time too close to a young puppy can traumatize them and actually make lifelong issues with their relationship just because it kicked off with something like that. So get them used to it from a distance, a crate, a safe spot, a different room, and hearing the kids from a safe distance, especially when it's a young puppy you're talking about. Um, it's really important, at least in the beginning. Down the road, it won't be such an issue once they're used to it, um, but you really want to make sure that that it's a really common pitfall, honestly. It's a really common issue that happens, and a lot of owners don't even know that it happens. They get a screech, a really good one, right in the dog's ear when they're young. All of a sudden, they're wondering why the puppy's staying away from the kids and they're having socialization problems. Don't let that be you. And that one ties right in with the next one. Don't allow loud screaming. Even after you slowly acclimated them, once they start playing together, just make a rule. No loud screaming, especially indoors early on. It can really hurt their ears. I know for me, like when my kids just screech randomly, it can hurt. And I couldn't imagine if my ears are four times more sensitive. Now, the next thing you should do while raising a Doberman puppy with kids is do provide an escape route for your dog. This is so important to give your puppy the means to shut down and retreat from a situation that's getting too overwhelming, giving them that control. Now, it could be an area that just the dog can fit into and your kids can't physically get at, like a small opening somewhere, or just an area where your dog can go that your kids know is off limits. If your kids are old enough to follow those rules and when your dog goes there, it's a quiet, calm escape. This seems like a small thing, but it does wonders for relationships between kids and dogs. You want the puppy to be able to retreat, give them the means to do that. Next up, talk about what gentle play is with your kids in regards to your puppy. It's really important. Um, it can go a really long way. You don't want your kids to like pet your Doberman puppy and then all of a sudden have to get harder and harder and turn into smacking. Trust me, that can happen. Or pull their ears or hit the dog or whatever other unpredictable things that kids might do um, when they get excited. So have a talk with your kids. Tell them to be gentle with their new family member and of course still supervise to make sure that happens. But this is really important that your kids have a basic understanding of gentle play uh, while you're introducing a Doberman pup. And that one leads us straight into our next don't, and that's to don't allow pinching, hitting, or climbing on the dog. Kids, for some reason, love to do these things on a new dog, even on a puppy. Um, I, I have recorded so much footage myself with my kids and my Doberman Arlo playing together, and sometimes I catch these things where they slip up and they're a little too rough with them. Um, and I'll play some of those actually right now on the screen. And kids can be a little unpredictable. They love tackling the dogs, they love smacking them too hard, and I mean kids can be kids. So specifically watch for that stuff, watch for pinching and hitting as well. Um, they seem to do this with most of their dogs. I don't know why, but it can absolutely cause major problems in the relationship if it's done early on. If it's later, when the dog's older and they're mature and they're dialed in, it's not going to be near as big of an issue. Your dog's going to kind of shrug it off. But when they're younger, it can cause real problems and lifelong relationship issues between them. The next one is don't encourage play between them when the dog is too tired. If your dog is tired, let your dog regulate it. This happens a lot with puppies, 8 to 12 weeks of age. If their dog's tired, don't force that dog into a situation where they have to interact with your kids. It can lead to frustration and all types of issues and certainly affect their lifelong bond. Make sure that their interactions are exciting, that they have the energy to play, that they want to play and, and do stuff with your kids and that'll ensure that this bond starts off right. Next up, do allow your kids to take care of your Doberman puppy. Let them participate in that. I can't stress this one enough. This is probably like the most important one here. It really builds that bond well. Um, it gets your kids personally invested in the dog. It helps build them or teach them a little bit of responsibility and even helps your Doberman to bond with your kids as well. Have your kids help feed the dog, brush the dog, bathe the dog. These things are so good for both your kids and your Doberman. It's, this is the type of stuff that builds lifelong relationships between them. If you involve your kids a little bit in caring for the dog, it really 
works wonders. And when they're older, they're going to be best buddies and totally inseparable. Now, the next one is don't separate your kids from your doberman. This is huge. Research has shown that if a dog is separated from the family more often, they become more antisocial. And the more antisocial dog becomes, the more likely biting issues are to occur. And of course, lifelong bond issues will result as well. Now, to avoid this, then simply do everything you can to involve your doberman in your daily life with the kids as much as possible. The last thing you want to do is to keep them separate. That's why so many of my previous points in this video have been all focused around making sure like some trauma doesn't happen, that then the kids want to be away from the dog or the dog wants to be away from the kids because keeping them separate is not what you want to do here at all. Bring your doberman puppy to drop off your kids at school or pick them up from school or go to the grocery store or go on a walk with the family. Um, how about bring them to their a birthday party with all the other kids and parents there. I mean, as long as the dog's fully trusted, it's a great time, hint, hint, to be a great Doberman breed ambassador and show all those parents how amazingly gentle and wonderful the Doberman breed is. Next up, do involve your kids with the training, especially command training with your Doberman puppy. This is incredibly important and really tightens that bond. It's one of the fastest ways to build that bond between them. It's just so important to do. It not only teaches your kids how to properly interact with your Doberman, but it helps your Doberman learn to be conscious of your children and what they want from him or her as well. It's really important. You'll actually see your kids start to get more excited. Trust me, they start to get more excited about interacting with the dog and about command training with the dog. And just about anything to do with your dog, they'll be way more excited about if you start doing this more often. And as your kids grow, obviously you want your doberman to listen to what the kids tell them. And it'll just make your doberman's focus on your children be that much more natural for your dog to do. They'll always be checking in with the, with the kids much more often. It helps on so many levels. So definitely get your kids involved with training with your doberman. It's gonna pay off a ton when they're older with a great relationship between them. Next up, don't allow nipping, biting, or mouthing on your kids by the doberman pup. Especially, you know, there's that age, three to six months of age or so, when this is gonna happen a lot. They're going through that teasing, teething process and your puppy's naturally gonna be nipping out. And kids, for some reason, they love this. It's like playtime to them until it gets too hard and then they get a little traumatized and that can lead to separation issues like I mentioned earlier. But so many kids, before that happens, will be teasing the dog, kinda you know, teasing with their hands or even encouraging the mouthing on them. Make sure that doesn't happen. It's so, so important. Um, it could really lead to lifelong issues if your Doberman puppy, for whatever reason, sees your kids as someone that that's acceptable to do that with, even if you set a hard boundary, okay, maybe your Doberman won't see you as someone they can mouth or nip or bite in playtime, but maybe they'll start to see just your kids as someone they can mouth or nip or bite during playtime. And that could carry on to adulthood for the dog, even if it's a young puppy right now. So that could be a huge issue. Do not allow your kids to, to let that happen at all. This is like, something you really gotta watch for because it could be an issue. And it, so many parents fall into this. This is such a common trap. Remember these do's and don'ts on your screen, guys, about raising kids with a Doberman. Um, they're the best possible way to ensure a strong bond between your Doberman and your kids. And it's really a wonderful thing to see. Kid with a Doberman by their side and having that lifelong companionship and relationship between them and a kid with a natural lifelong protector that'll keep them safe. These are the things that you need to keep in mind to ensure that that happens with your family, your kids, and your Doberman. Just make sure you're smart about guiding them through their interactions, especially when the puppy's young, and it'll pay you off by making a great relationship that'll last forever, guys. It's so important. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it. That way you get notified of the next video I make. And who knows, that next one might be that one that you've been waiting for all along. And if you don't subscribe, well, thanks for at least thinking about subscribing and knowing the buttons down there. I'll just thank you even just for that. I really appreciate it. And in the meantime, while you're waiting for the next Doberman Planet video, why don't you check out some of these other ones on your screen? There's a lot of good ones here. In fact, the YouTube magical mind reading algorithm is saying that that one right there is the one that I've done in the past that you're gonna love the most. I wonder if YouTube's right. You should check it out. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys.